Another antiplatelet medication to be aware of is called Plavix. Now it's also known as clopidogrel. This medication inhibits the platelet's ability to properly aggregate at the site of a wound, just like aspirin does, only it has a little different mechanism of action. Now, clopidogrel is a little more concerning than aspirin. However, it's not concerning enough to want to take patients off of this prior to an extraction. So the same thing goes for this. Patients are on it for a reason, and the reason is preventing clots. If you take them off it, they're at a chance of a severe injury or some type of permanent disability from a clot that can form and enter their system. So Plavix should be treated a little bit more carefully than aspirin. However, let's put this in perspective. Plavix will increase the bleeding time of the average patient by about 1.5 to 3 times. Now the average patient has a bleeding time of anywhere from about 2 minutes to 10 minutes. So let's say that they're at the extremes of both of those. So they're a 10 minute bleeder and they're getting it increased 3 times by the Plavix. That's 30 minutes. So if somebody bites on a gauze for 30 minutes and they have a minor oozing bleed, this is no big deal. They still have platelets that are functioning normally and they're going to clot. It's just going to take them longer. So what that means to me in my office is that I'm going to employ some local hemostatic measures, maybe put a collar plug in there and suture it over in addition to them biting on a gauze to ensure that they quit bleeding in a reasonable amount of time.